guys welcome back today a new uh, tutorial on how to capture airflare uh, basically I'm not gonna go into too many details on how to do every detail of the airflare uh, but you know I'm just gonna actually explain how you can go from a freeze to a freeze jump basically how you would what you would do in an airflare normally right so uh, there's many ways to airflare this is basically in a lot of these ways this works and this is what you do so uh, sometimes you watch a tutorial and they actually explain this but they just do it so they explain first you do this then you do this and then you do this freeze freeze right today I will explain how to do that and catch that instead of just flopping over uh, so uh, the first thing you need of course is solid freezes very obviously for air flash get all your basics done uh, so what we're gonna do is today I'll uh, explain it with the tuck version but I suggest you first train it with the pike version because in airflare basically swing it to a pike freeze and then hop over to the other hand, right? So we're gonna train it a little bit with the pike, but later on you can simply do the handle technique or the tuck technique, which is a little bit easier because you can actually you know add height more easy. So uh, what will we do? We'll sim simply enter with the left hand first if you're right-handed like me, and then try to swing a little bit into our pike and have a solid pike down. So, uh, left hand first, swing it in, and there it is. So as you can see, I start sort of rotating. Now the reason that happens is because my hand is to the side, similar to how you do a flare. If you sort of lean over, you will automatically start rotating. So, uh, and that's what's supposed to happen, by the way. Your hand needs to be on the side. So, yet again, from here, up, there's the pike freeze, right? Easy enough. So, work on your pikes, it's very important guys. So we got the pike down, great. Now we're gonna do the pike, and we're gonna force it back into the handstand. So it depends a little bit on your basics, but that's what you do. And I also suggest practicing the exact same thing, but in the tuck position, because like I said, the handle technique is handy to have in this. So, let's do it right now. Tuck, and go back, right? Now we need to learn how to force that back into the handstand. So I will start with the pike and then I force it back. See, I'm not thinking of air flare just yet. All you're gonna do is do a pike with your uh, hand to the side and you force it back into the handstand. You need to have this down and understand what you're doing. I'll show you guys. Pike, force back. Do it again, do it many times actually to understand. Pike, force back. So as you can see, I'm not going pike and then on my feet, but I'm forcing it back to my hand. See, you're here and you force it back. Here, force it back. You have this down, great. So we're gonna use this to catch our air flare. Um, now, the first thing is we're gonna just drive to the side, but later on we can add more rotation by pushing the hip in. I kind of suggest against this in the beginning, just do it sideways, right? So, to do that, as we enter our little pike or tuck freeze, both is good, we're gonna lean over the arm, and the idea is that while you do the pike freeze, your body is actually on this side of your arm. So it's not on that side of your arm where you started, but you force it this way. As you are doing this, and you're actually just upside down, you will use the exact same technique to force yourself back into the handstand. So what will happen as you do that tuck or pike freeze, you go back, right? And what will happen is basically you will fall back onto your hand instead of, oh, I'm in a, in a pike freeze, and I try to jump and I crash, which a lot of people have this trouble with the air flare, obviously. So uh, that's what they do, actually. When, they, when you see them do this, well, sometimes they enter from standing, but it's the same principle. They force their body on the side of their arm, and as they hop over, they actually hop up. And that hand up technique, that jump, gives them height to catch, but with this little drive to the handstand technique, you will be able to catch it, which is handy, of course. So, uh, let me show you guys. Uh, it's easier with the hand up technique because you can add pump, and it's easier to catch a position, but you can use the pike if you want. It's up to you. Uh, pike to pike is what usually is done in air flare, right? So, uh, I'll show it with the pike. There's a pike, and then uh, jump over to the pike, forcing it that way. So, it's pike to pike. Force over your arm. As you're upside down, force over the arm there. 
Now, you might think, yeah, but that doesn't really look like an air flare. That's very true. You have to uh, use this technique in your air flare. So this is the way you force from the one hand to the other. And you can actually catch it, right? Uh, like I said, with top freeze, it's slightly easier. So actually suggest sort of working with this. So you need to have hand tops down more or less. As you uh, force the top freeze, you jump to the top freeze. Because it's easier to jump this way. Now, uh, I had already some people tell me, look, I don't like this because you drive to the side. Uh, so how can we do two air flares and catch on the same spot? This will come with time, basically, right? But I will explain it anyway. Uh, as you're doing air flares, and you can do one or two already, you try to drive your hip forward. If you do a flare, your hip goes forward. If I do a windmill, my hip goes forward. If you do the halo, you guessed it, your hip flies forward. So guess what we do in the air flare, exact same. And because you add the drive forward as you do those moves, your hands start flying over and you should more or less be in two, three air flares have the same spot. Uh, in the beginning, I wouldn't worry so much about it, just try to catch it, right? This is more the way to catch it. But I just wanna address this, that even though you use this technique, you can still get air flares in two times, but it will take time, obviously. And that's why sometimes it's actually better to just straight into perfect air flares. But that's not, for ev that's not for everybody. You have to have a very strong body, very flexible, very good in all the basics. Then you can maybe do uh, the air flares like B-Body and DOS, right? But as you are maybe a beginner, you can work on this and actually get an air flare and use the, all your style combos, all your power moves, yada yada and work at it as you go. I think that's not a wrong method at all. So, uh, yet again, let me show you guys. Uh, I'll use a tuck freeze this time, and you pump like a hand hook, from the one hand to the other, but you drive your body over to that side, right? So from here, forcing it over, bump. So, you see, you're just actually sort of falling from there. From here, you can actually start, you know, checking from the hand and you start more, throwing more to the side, it all comes with time, right? So guys, I hope this helps. If you're struggling with air flare, uh, try to work on this, right? Uh, this is not the only way to do it. There's many ways to do this uh, fucking move. So, so it's really up to you. Uh, but this works, right? So if you're, and I, I trained also sometimes beginners, and I see, wow, we have very good freezes and we can actually work on this. They sometimes get the the talk to talk quite easily, right, and all that shit. So maybe this works for you too. See you next time.